What is up guys, Pinky49 here, we're back on the Desolation map, and today I've got some news. Some big news, I don't know where to start. I don't know which news is bigger. Is it the news that Big B Stats released his video of him playing Infected on the Desolation map? Could that be the biggest news? I don't know. It's up to you guys, what do you think? <laughs> is that the biggest news? Or is the bigger news that Odabs is finished? Oh man. Well, as far as Big V stats goes, you guys should go check out his video. I'm going to put a link in the card right now so you guys can go check that out if you haven't seen it already. And I'm also going to put a link to my video in case you haven't seen it yet so you can see my perspective on the whole infected thing. Oh, we had a lot of fun. I hope he comes back. Go and tell him to come back on Twitter and on his comments. Go tell him. Go tell him, guys. Thank you. The bigger news, I think it's the bigger news, is that Odabs is done. It is done. Now, it's not done done. Still have some, like the chests are empty, first of all, so there's not stuff in the chest yet. But it is done in terms of being able to play PvP. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play PvP on this thing. Let's take a look at it. I think this is going to be a two-parter. There's no way I can show you all of Odabs in its glory in one video. I don't think it's possible. So we're going to turn this into a two-parter. Today I'm going to show you the exterior and I'm going to show you the brewery tour. And tomorrow I will show you the upstairs area with all the offices and stuff like that. So yeah, we got the Odabs campus ready to go. What I try to do for every building, I try to keep it in the same theme. Which means I use these brick and jungle wood blocks throughout the entire build. But I made sure to make every building stand out and be distinctive. Even though they all are in the same vein, the same theme, they still fit together as a campus, you know? I don't know if you guys have been to many college campuses, but, you know, all the buildings are different. But they're all, most of them are created by the same architect. So they have the same style and the same materials. They're mostly built around the same time. So whenever you're going to build a campus, I suggest you do the same sort of thing where... The buildings look similar, but aren't the same. Now I'm going to throw a lot of graffiti on these walls. This place is derelict. It's going to be pre-Armageddon graffiti, post-Armageddon graffiti, all sorts of graffiti on there. Uh, this is the biggest building. This is the main building, the ODAB's main building. And you're going to find corporate offices and part of the, the brewing process. Over here is where they get their shipments of the wheat and the hops. Any shipments really they're going to get from here. And, you know, the truck's going to come right on in and uh, deliver them to the warehouse. Oh man, the parking lots is kind of uh, discombobulated. These flower pots here are not flower pots. You know what they are. You know exactly what they are. They are cans and bottles. And you're gonna see those all throughout the build because frankly speaking, the employees at this place kind of lushes, okay? <laughs> kind of lush. Why would you work at a place where you Brew beer if you didn't love to drink beer. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so that's the exterior. Let's go on in. Let's start this tour. Now, this is going to be a tough video because I'm not going to put on any juice. This is going to be in the dark. And I just want to give you guys the, the true sense of what this place feels like during the Armageddon. Oh, dabs. You're going to see these all over the place. These little chests with oh, dabs on it. These are basically 12 packs. And I'm going to fill these with all sorts of beer cans and beer bottles. These are 12 packs. And you can see those all throughout the city. I haven't put them in yet, but they're going to be all throughout the city. And some of them might give you clues about the Odev's Brewery. I don't know. There's going to be clues everywhere. All right. So you guys might remember this place. This is the lobby. I gave it a few updates. Made it feel a little bit more scattered. Now, the Odev's Brewery wasn't exactly torn apart during the post-apocalypse. You know, people came in looking for beer. They grabbed the beer and they left. But uh, some of the place will be, you know, messed up, and other places in this warehouse will not be. And that's because, well, you'll see. You'll see. So this is the lobby. This is where you're going to sign up for the beer tour. Oh, now that we're here, let me just say thank you guys for all the suggestions on beer slogans. You guys are so funny. <laughs> There's a couple of them, a handful of them actually, that made me laugh out loud. You know who you are. Oh man, they're so funny. But the problem was most of them were too long. Now I'm going to be putting these on billboards. This slogan is going to be on billboards, so I don't have much space to work with. Now this isn't finalized. If you guys have a better one, I will change it. For, for right now, as a placeholder, Odad Brewery, have an OD. Right? Have an OD? Go on, give it to me, right? 
Give me a like if you like that. If you don't like it, let me know and come up with a better one, please. But for right now, it's going to be have an OD. So what you're going to do is, you know, before Armageddon happened, you'd sign up for the brewery tour. And, you know, you'd wait for the tour to start. And you'd all congregate. You'd sit here and maybe have a beverage while you wait. And then they say, okay, tour at 1230 starting now. You all come over here. And, you know, it's not a self-guided tour. There's a tour guide. But for our intents and purposes, you can read the signs. Welcome to the ODEVS Brewery Tour! Exclamation point. Follow the chevrons to learn about the beer brewing process that makes ODAV's number one beer in Covington. <laughs> this is a chevron. If you guys don't know, a chevron is like an arrow without a, uh, a line. You know, just the arrow tip. <laughs> so that's what these chevrons are. They're going to lead you, see? They're going to guide you through this brewery tour. So let's, let's take the tour. Let's see what happens on this tour. All right. The first step is to feed malted grain into a milling machine that turns the kernels into a coarse powder. Alright, so this is the grain right here. All these hay bales are uh, simulating the grain. And it's sent up this conveyor belt. This conveyor belt goes up and up and up. And it drops the grain into this machine here. And we'll learn more about that machine in a moment. So you go into that machine. Yeah. There we go. Notice the parkour opportunities. Uh-oh, someone's going to have fun in here. Someone is going to have too much fun. All right, so let's continue on the tour. You're not necessarily supposed to walk on the machines during this tour, but, you know, there's no one, no employees here to tell us otherwise. <laughs> the employees are dead and gone, so don't worry about them. All right, we'll go up that ladder tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. All right, so let's continue on this tour. The powder is mixed with hot water in a large vat called the mash tun, producing a thick, sweet liquid called wort. Not nether wort, mind you. This is real life wort. And these are the mash tuns here. And this is where the wort gets fermented with... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that cool? We got a lot of them. This brewery is pumping out beer nonstop. So you're going to you walk around the tour here. You're not supposed to go over these, this barrier here, but like I said, there's no employees. What we got here? The wort is boiled for up to two hours in a large kettle. That would be this kettle right here. Ah! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you gotta be careful around here. Things are falling apart. It's a derelict warehouse, you know. There's no maintenance. <laughs> Things just break easily. I don't know how I just did that. Alright, what does it say here? The wort is then transferred to a fermentation tank where yeast slowly converts the sugar to alcohol. The liquid is then passed through a filter. Alright, so that's this process from here to there to here. This is the filter. This is where the, the distilling happens. It actually turns into to alcohol. Ooh, it's exciting. Let's go in there and check it out. Yeah. I tried to make this place feel like a warehouse. A lot of open space, but a lot of things is laying around because people were going through this stuff. You know they were. They were just going through and just tossing everything. And it may, be, it may have been like this before. You know, the employees weren't the most clean people. They're, look, these are all kegs here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of bottles and cups around these kegs. So I don't know if the employees are exactly sober during this process. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. This is Covington. Why would they be sober? Why would they ever be sober in Covington? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe one or two. Uh, no, no, they're all drunk, I'm sure. Let's see, what does this say? Be sure to visit the tasting area. Ooh, that sounds fun. As well as the gift shop. Not as fun. <laughs> Drink the beer first, then go shopping. Stock up on all of the quality ODAB's merchandise. I don't know if that's good advice, but uh, we'll continue on this tour regardless. These are one-way doors that people with TNT will be able to enter and exit from, but as you can see, even though it looks like you can pass through, you cannot. I wish, I really wish that they make these doors flush with these iron bars. Oh goodness, it's ugly. But it does serve a functional purpose. No one can get in or out without TNT, so let us continue. Ooh, where are we now? Look at all this. Oh my. The mixture is pumped into conditioning tanks to age, where the beer becomes naturally carbonated. Okay, so this is uh, what um, Kellen Brown helped me with. And this is where the beer sits for a while to just age and become beer, really. It just sits here and ferments and, you know, you gotta give it time. These things require time. At the, eventually it becomes beer and is ready to be consumed. Or is it? No, there's another step in this process. Oh, Dabs is going the extra mile. The beer is then transferred into oak barrels where it ages and takes on a distinctive oaky flavor. <laughs> oh, uh, the word oak to me is synonymous with poison oak, so I don't necessarily want to drink the oaky flavor, but you know, some people like it. <laughs> so this is a, a bunch of 
You guys know about this, right? You guys know about the parkour in here. I'm not going to do it. There's parkour up there. Uh, I showed you too much. <laughs> so this is a, the, the oak barrels where the wine is sitting and getting flavors. The flavors. Some um, stuff here. You got to follow the tour line. We're on the tour. Don't leave the tour. Ooh, what is this area? I'll fly around all this in a minute so you can get an overhead view. But for right now, we're on the tour. The beer then goes through an automated bottling and packaging machine is it, and is then sent out to stores. Oh boy, this is where the beer gets bottled and packaged. Alright, you know what? Let's just fly because you're not going to be able to see this unless you go exploring. So as you can see, this is the conveyor belt assembly line. It starts over here and you know, it drops the little cups down and the cups go along this conveyor belt. Q warehouse music. I don't know what kind of music that is, but you know what I mean. And the beer goes up and up. This is all parkour. You can all you can get on all of this, all of that. Here we go. We're on the parkour. And then you come down here, and then goes up here. <laughs> all right, and then it comes over here. Oh, and this is where it gets put into boxes for the twelve packs. I may have missed a step. This is where the bottles get filled, right in here. I missed that step. This is where the bottles get filled. There's no way to make a filled bottle, <laughs> you know? So you just have to use your imagination. Then it gets packaged, and it gets into the boxes, and these boxes come out over her. And this is where they ship them out. This is where they ship out all their stuff and send them out to the stores of Covington. Like I said, like the other shipping place, the trucks come here, and they pick up stuff, and then they take the stuff away. <laughs> all right? So then, what do we got? What do we got? There's a lot of secrets in here that I'm not going to show you. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to figure those out for yourself. This is the tasting area. And they got O'Dabs on tap. Why wouldn't they? What else would they have? <laughs> Daniel, Coors Light? I don't think so. They got O'Dabs, and this is where you have your tasting. And you stand here, and you just drink, and you drink. And they give you as much O'Dabs as you want. Because the next stop on this little tour is the gift shop. And this is where you're going to OD on O'Dabs. <laughs> Uh, here's the slogan again, Odav's Brewery, have an OD. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is just uh, stuff. They got shirts and mugs and uh, stress balls and beer cozies and I don't even know what they have here. All sorts of things so you can become a walking advertisement. You actually pay them to advertise for them. Does that make sense? Well, people do it. Okay, people do it. So that's the brewery tour. There's a lot more to see in this brewery, which I will show you tomorrow. Well, let's just fly around just so you get an overhead view, and I'll take the juice for you guys. I know you guys are curious about the juice. We'll take the juice and do a quick run through, and that'll be the video for today. Oh, Dabs, the tour. It is coming soon. I'm going to start some PvP on this. We're going to get a bunch of PvP going. All sorts of games. I got a game mode that involves TNT heavily, so this place is going to get torn apart. <laughs> torn apart. This is what it looks like from the air. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll show all that tomorrow, all that tomorrow. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, and you can follow the beer along through here, of course. These are the mash tons. Not the mash tons. These are the, the what are they called? I don't know. The large brewing containers. I forget. <laughs> so yeah, there's parkour here, of course. You can get up on here using this, this ladder. Not really a ladder, but a metal stairs. Metal stairs, yeah parkour here you do not want to go down in there because that's almost certain death <laughs> don't go down in there if you do I'm not rescuing you okay <laughs> all right over here of course you know this I don't want to show too much just parkour obviously obviously don't look at that don't you don't need to look at the secrets guys come play if you want to see secrets uh, over here is where the employees uh, enter the bar so they can sell people not sell they give out the beer on these tastings but this is the behind the bar yeah yeah this is what the barman sees and then lastly we'll fly around in here all right okay look at that this is quite a production guys this there's no small uh, beer factory these guys are mass producing beer non-stop they can't stop won't stop and that's how I felt building this thing. Can't stop, won't stop. I was on a mission. A mission from the beer gods <laughs> to finish this. And like I said, we have some more to do. I'm going to do more on it. But for right now, the PvP is going to commence. Let there be blood! <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this. I'm going to show more of the Dabs Brewery tomorrow. And uh, we'll get some PvP going this week. And 
Oh, it'll be good. It'll be good. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out Big B's video. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.